So today, like I said, um, I'll be speaking on the mornings. And w when I was doing my research, um, as after I was done with my PowerPoint presentation, um, I decided to just go on the web to see what I can find to kind of help back up my uh, research. And I came upon this article written by Ted Davis um, from the Market Fit. Uh, market fit, and it pretty much summarized what I wrote. And I was like, oh, okay, so I'm gonna use some of what they wrote and some of what I wrote to kind of try to explain uh, what uh, the money is about. Um, if you are old enough to remember the 70s, you may recall a lot of talk about Korean <coughs> Reverend Sun Moon Mengmo and his Holy Spirit uh, Association for the Unification of World Christianity, better known as the Unification Church. You may recall seeing young men and women on street corners selling flowers, candy, or other items to support the church. You may have even had conversation with followers of Reverend Moon, who people sometimes refer to as the Mooney. Uh, most observ observer Christian and secular alike regarded the church as a cult. Reverend Moon, uh, in 2012, he died uh, of a pneumonia, something like that, at the age of 93. Um, and ever since then, they changed their name, their official name, to Family Federation for World Peace and Unification because there was a lot of um, talk about who, who they were and how they came about, so they decided to change that name to kind of make it more appealing without any judgment, quote, quote. Uh, on January 6, 1920, young boy was born in North Korea he grew up in a Taj straw hut in North, Northwest Korea during the brutal Japanese occupation. When he was 10, his family converted to Christianity, but he, he eventually joined a French Christian sect that engaged in sexual purification ritual. At age 16, he had a vision of Jesus Christ in which he was told to carry out Christ's unfinished tax. He believed that God chose him to save mankind from Satanism. He taught his doctrine in North Korea in 1946, and two years later, he was excommunicated by the Presbyterian Church because of uh, his sexual uh, purification uh, ritual. Um, in 1945, he moved to uh, Pyongyang uh, after Korea was liberated, which was then under Soviet control and started his own church. <laughs> Other ministers complained about his teaching, and in 1948, um, he was arrested and reported, and reported a child with polygamy. Um, the Unification Church started in, North, in South Korea in 1954 calling it the Holy Spirit Association for the Unification of World Christianity. <coughs> um, his theological idea is a mixture of Christianity, Confucianism, Shamanism, and anti-communist bio. Um, Uh, the move to America. In 1970, he preached to a large stadium crowd, uh, and he recruited about 1,000 of youth in the 70s and 80s. And in 1982, he was con convicted of tax evasion, and he was fined $25,000 and sent to 18 months in prison. And after he went to prison, he came out. That actually fueled his, um, uh, what do you call him? It actually fueled him 
to kind of step up more to kind of bring out about his idea about the morning and how he was, he hears the choosing uh, Messiah after Jesus Christ. And that same year, he founded the Washington Times, a conservative alternative to the Washington Post. And they also acquired wire service, United Press uh, International. Uh, and in uh, 19, and that's him uh, and his wife. Um, he was about 45 and she was 20 when they got married. That was his second wife. And that's how they became the true parents um, because he believed that God uh, saved him and God gave him the vision. Um, uh, Moore came to the United States in the 70s, as mentioned, um, and this sudden vi uh, visibility and apparent growth raised the media and the country general awareness of the UC. More and other similar court, many parents and other family members of convert complained that their loved ones were being manipulated and instrained by in intense UC indoctrination process, as well as a number of UC defenses, two story of psychological, spiritual, and labor abuse by the UC leaders. Um, there's a video. I love for you to watch. Um, it pretty much explain about the mornings and one of uh, Reverend Moon um, for their son, uh, ex-wife, after she left the call, she kind of explained uh, how they went about the court and their recruitment and how she was glad that she left the church. Technology. <laughs> oh well. We have the technical problem. I try to do that. The last one, it, it worked. <clears throat> it's, it's connected. Save it onto a flash drive and bring it in. It's a connected, but I don't know why it's why is it doing that. This I skin which I try it came on. <laughs> but I guess. <laughs> what I could do is I could go and if you have a flash drive, I could go save it and then bring it and just have it play it. Interesting. <laughs> 